Good morning, Melati. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. So uh, when you were 12 years old, you planted a small seed in Bali, the Bye Bye Plastic uh, Bags campaign. And today it has grown into a global movement. So I would like to ask you, tell us a little bit about what you started in Bali and what it takes to build a global movement. Yes, well, thank you again so much for, for giving me the platform to share a little bit about Bye Bye Plastic Bags. And, you know, like I said, we, or like you said in the introduction, I started when I was 12 years old. Today I'm 19 and still a full-time change maker. Um, we started really the, the organization Bye Bye Plastic Bags because simply we saw a problem and we knew we couldn't sit on the sidelines. So we wanted to take action to protect the beautiful environment that everybody thinks of when they think of Bali. Um, when, when it started growing to a global movement, we had no idea how or why, but we saw that young people in all corners of the world saw what we were doing here in Bali and said, if they can do it, we can do it too. And so I think, you know, that's the power of leading by example, being um, brave enough to walk your talk and take that first step. And I think young people act as a role model in that sense to industry leaders, governments, uh, and, and, and leaders in different fields. So today you are in over 25 countries? Uh, with, with 29 countries. 29 countries. What has been your, your learning curve? What does it take to build a global movement? Um, what it takes to build a global movement, there are a lot of different aspects. Um, number one thing is always team. Again, that collaborative effort, that collaborative spirit is at the heart of a lot of youth movements that you're seeing today. Um, you know, the, the ability to connect the dots and come together with a lot of different uh, spaces is what allowed us to grow so quickly. Um, but also being bold and being unapologetically demanding and clear in what we wanted to see. And with bioplastic bags, it was as simple as saying no to single use plastic bags. Did COVID-19 disrupt your plans this year? Was there any positive outcomes? With COVID-19, indeed, it has been a really intense year for everybody. Um, you know, where 2019, some have said it was the, the year of action, you know, being on the grounds. We saw students, millions of us go out to the streets and protest, in-person gatherings. And then 2020 hit and we had to shift everything online. Um, personally, I've taken this moment to really fuel the new start of our project, Youthtopia, which is everything to be you know, online and empowering young people. Um, but you know, I think on a, on a more zoom out global perspective, what COVID-19 has given us is the time to finally redefine the way we're working, the way we're communicating with each other, the way we're learning, the way we're studying. And uh, this allows us the serious confrontation we have never seriously taken and say, how are we going to move forward in a way that we're working towards a future we're proud of? Because if one thing that has been confirmed with COVID-19 is that we can no longer go back to normal because there simply is no normal. So what is your message to business in this great reset between people and nature and the relationship between nature and business? With businesses, be more ambitious. I think we can, we're seeing goals and strategies for far too far away timelines. Uh, again, with COVID-19, we've seen regulations and policy change happen overnight. So when we think about how are we going to protect biodiversity, how are we gonna protect uh, you know, the, the fight against climate crisis, we, have, we know we can take action sooner and um, we have to protect the ecosystem and the environment around us. And that begins with actually putting value to the uh, environment around us. So what, what makes you positive? What, what gives you hope? Uh, what gives me hope? I'm going to be biased here as a young change maker. Definitely other young people standing up for what they believe in. And there has been an amplification of voices uh, all across the world coming from young people. And their passion, their energy is what inspires me to keep going. Well, I can tell you the energy and of young people taking ownership and taking leadership in this. It's inspiring to all generations. Thank you very much for spending time with us this morning. Thank you.